In Health Watch, March is Autoimmune Disease Awareness Month. As we wrap up this month, we want to take a look at some of the causes and symptoms of some of the most common conditions. Joining us now to do that is MedStar Health's Dr. Benjamin Plotz. Good morning to you, Dr. Plotz. Thank you for joining us. Hi, good morning. Great to be here. Uh, let's start with uh, the basics here. What, what is an autoimmune disease? So, you know, an autoimmune disease is when our immune system, which usually does a great job of protecting us from germs, bacteria, viruses like COVID, for example, when instead of attacking those foreign pathogens, it ends up attacking certain parts of our body and our cells. Do we know why the immune system does that, why it suddenly starts to attack the healthy cells? That's a great question. And, you know, the short answer is we actually still don't know. Um, it's still a very active area of research. One of the popular theories today, though, is that it's called the two-hit hypothesis, where we know there are some people who are more predisposed to have an autoimmune disease. For instance, we know that women are twice as likely um, compared to men to have an autoimmune disease. Um, so, you know, these people may have uh, then a, a, some sort of environmental exposure, maybe an exposure to a chemical or a certain infection, which would then kind of trigger the immune system, kind of push a button and, and cause dysregulation, which could lead to an autoimmune disease. Yeah, I think people would be surprised to know just how, how many people, millions of people are affected by an autoimmune disease. Let's go into the, the top four most common ones. What are they? Absolutely. So, you know, as a rheumatologist, we see a, a, a certain set of autoimmune diseases. Um, some of the most common diseases that we see are rheumatoid arthritis, for example, which affects 1% of Americans and, and causes lots of pain and swelling in your hands. Um, we also see a lot of lupus, um, which affects, unfortunately, a lot of young women and can be very serious and can affect their kidneys, leading uh, people to go on dialysis or can even, uh, in, in very bad cases, lead to death. Um, there are other sets of diseases that we treat, psoriatic arthritis, effect, which is a, an arthritis that affects people with psoriasis, and ankylosing spondylitis, which can affect typically young men um, and the bones in their back. Hmm. And, you know, considering how common these are and the medical advance, advancements that we've seen just in general, why are these conditions so hard to treat, even with lupus? I've heard so many stories where, where ultimately these people are just left frustrated. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great question. And, and part of the trouble with treating autoimmune diseases is we're not, we're not treating something like a bacteria or a virus where you can give medication that just targets that sort of foreign pathogen. Instead, you're actually fighting with your own immune system. So as rheumatologists, we really have to strike a balance of weakening the immune system so that we can turn down the volume, so to speak, on the autoimmune disease and control it without turning it down too much. And we can still allow the immune system to do its healthy functions and keeping us you know, protected from the outside world. Yeah. It, it's such a fine balance. And as you know, the pros and cons uh, to all of that. And I'm, I'm sure, as you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as how much more there is to know when it comes to autoimmune diseases. But MedStar Health's Dr. Benjamin Plotz, appreciate your time this morning and insight. Thank you.